It appears that Matthew Syriac, the former co-head of Blackstone India, has acquired an additional stake in India Bulls housing finance. Syriac recently added approximately 25 lakh equity shares to his portfolio, which is equivalent to a 0.52% increase in paid-up equity. This move has boosted his total holding in the company to a respectable 2.32%, placing him among the company's largest individual shareholders. India Bulls Housing finance isn't resting on its laurels, though. The company is currently undergoing a rebranding exercise and will soon be known as Saman Capital. This transformation aligns with the company's strategic shift towards mortgages and retail lending. By the financial year 2026, the company aims to improve its return on equity and return on assets to 15% and 3% respectively. Now it's time to mark your calendars. On the 6th of February 2024, India Bulls is expected to announce its third quarter earnings results. In the previous quarter, the company reported a net profit of 11.29 crores, marking a year-on-year -year decrease of 38.1%. It will be interesting to see how the company performs in the third quarter, particularly given the ongoing challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic and economic slowdown. Switching gears, it's time to delve into the nitty-gritty of India Bull's stock price trends and patterns. Currently, the stock is trading at 214 rupees, showing a marginal increase of 0.78% from its previous close. However, the stock has been on a downward trend since November 2020. Despite facing resistance at the 50-day and 100-day moving averages, it has broken below the 200-day moving average. The indicators suggest a bearish sentiment, with the stock trading below the Ichimoku cloud. The relative strength index stands at 44, signaling a neutral condition. Additionally, the moving average convergence divergence is below the signal line, indicating a downward momentum. Lastly, the stochastic oscillator is at 28, pointing towards an oversold condition. In light of these factors, the stock may encounter support at 208 rupees and resistance at 221 rupees. Until a clear trend emerges, the stock may continue to trade in a range-bound manner. For investors, this could mean waiting for a breakout or breakdown before taking a position. And there you have it. A comprehensive look at the current state of affairs at India Bulls Housing Finance Limited. From stake acquisitions to rebranding efforts, and from upcoming events to technical analysis, we've covered it all. Here's hoping this video provides you with the insights you need to make informed decisions. Until next time, stay tuned for more updates, and thank you for joining us today.